Hey everyone, this is Lightberg. Welcome back to my playthrough of Persona Q. Today we're going to continue exploring the labyrinth that we just discovered, and we're going to go over the other functions as well, because I don't have time to go over it. I'm going to go into the workshop first. I think the game's going to give us even more words now that we're here for the first time. Basically, you can sell stuff here, including the tongue skin and tongue pieces you got from the very beginning of the game. And you use the... Yeah, the X button is multi-select. It's not the same as Etron, honestly. It takes some getting used to. I think sometimes during EO4 I accidentally made the mistake of pressing X instead of Y. Ah, uh, the desk is probably okay. The combat dress is probably also okay. So, there's different types of weapons and armor for everyone, just as discussed in the previous one. You got you, which uses swords for some reason. Yosuke, which uses knives. Kanji, which uses desk and other weird pieces of equipment. We're not gonna get a griffin page for quite some time, so we're probably gonna go ahead and get him this for the small bonus of 10 attack, which isn't small by the way, it's actually quite a lot. And that's like an extra 25% attack, it's that, it's, it's that good. Was it asking me? Yes. That's a neat feature as well, you get to sell the stuff that you don't want anymore. Some things you want to keep around, though, because they have status effects or stuff on them. Okay, so it doesn't look like we have anything else. We do have access to the combat dress now. Which gets a solid 20 defense for a tongue piece, but 7 defense is a lot. We don't need, necessarily need it for back row characters. But all the front row characters are men, so... I don't think we have anywhere else to put it. This will have to do for now. Alright, we're gonna keep that simple. Got access to some accessories right off the bat. Not actually, I lied. Alright, we are a little bit damaged. Let's go ahead and visit the nurse's office. This is like the inn in Etron Odyssey. It allows you to heal there for basically money. Sometimes it costs quite a bit, actually. It's possible not to be able to afford this stuff if you don't stay on top of it. Actually takes quite a decent amount, but thankfully the enemy sets are, once you start learning enemy weaknesses, you take less HP and TP to do things, so you need to come to the nurse's office less often. Alright, I did the party formation last time, so that's what I'm going in with at least to start. As we get access to the other group of characters, this will obviously change. So let's go. Thank you for explaining Radney threads to me. Alright. And we can enter. I'm fine with this. Start. You in Wonderland. Might be a clue how to escape this world. Uh, the world inside here. God bless. Kind of like a maze. Really, really? Sorry. I'm not gonna be much help navigating you through here. That's okay, that's my job. I see. What should we do? Should we mark our path as we go? Yeah, give me a map, I'll do it. Bad idea, but we don't know what awaits us. I think a more cautious approach is called for. Just give me a piece of paper, I got this. Senpai, why don't we draw a map? That this was already planned. No, you think? No, I want to do it myself. Screw that second option. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Zen, for having an actual nice notebook. Well, you know what? That's pretty good. That's a great use of notebook paper. I agree. I was going to do this myself anyway, you don't have to tell me. You seem to forget that I'm more on the Etchinasi side of things than the Persona side of things. Those are probably called FOEs. Ah! I'll give it a few levels. Avoid them? Ichie, it was really obvious. 
Yes, and we are speaking of the FOEs. From it's Latin. Don't worry about it. Holy shit! This game got it nailed down. Not really like Persona to use Latin like this. I don't know. It's fine. Actually, isn't like the entire attack system named in Greek? Zio and stuff like that? Doesn't surprise anyone. Oh, you have sympathy. Don't worry about being hard-headed, Chia. He almost deserves it. Just punch him in the face now. Cancel what I said about being sorry. I'd rather hold sense. Ah, shut down on the first turn. Sorry, Teddy, it's so easy. Meanwhile, there's that spider I wanted Yosuke to kill. The map is now available on the bottom screen. Anyhow, this game is the first of any Atronasi games to actually get this correct. So, usually the Atronasi games will like put a wall there or some silly some such, and I'm just like, man, that does not belong there. But they did miss the walls around the door, which I really like. Now, one feature that's really nifty is that there's these faint blue lines that will tell you where the walls are if they are about a space or so ahead of you. I actually really like this feature, as it lets me more easily draw the maps in and not accidentally misgauge where they are. You can also have a function turn on the options that will let you map the walls automatically. And we... The first fight we run into, we get struck first. The table decides to do nothing, and the mayas are pretty weak, so we're basically in no danger. Really, you can tell whether a table is planning something from its expressionless mask. Character attack load is in boost will be unboosted. Okay. This is kind of a mishmash because if your characters are fast, they'll get the boost almost for certain, but then they might just lose it later in the turn. It's something you gotta balance. It's okay. I want to say the tables are weak to ice. I don't remember. Since we went over there. Smash, uh... Smash that face in. Bane slice that face in. Bane slice is actually almost like a one hit kill. You can probably send it over there and be fine. Not with the wind, okay. We'll just have to test ground limits as we go. And I lost the boost. See, that's just kind of what I was talking about. Sometimes you just lose it because you're faster. And that's a party ice attack. Now, much like the enemies, our characters can suddenly become stunned. That's what the down means. Because Yukiko is weak to ice, if she gets hit by an ice attack, there's a chance that she gets down and is unable to move on the next turn. Okay, there's this thing called the leader skill. There's this gauge that's been filling on the right, and you may have noticed in the previous episode called the support gauge. And it's used to use this, which lets you... Let lets you make someone move first on the turn. It's nifty for getting like instant heals. You never have to use it on Yosuke because he's fast anyway. You can use it to. It, there's lots of shenanigans you can do with it. It's nice. It's it's just like first turn in Entrenasi. You can find lots of ways to break it. I don't really want to be wasting too much TP. I, it might be called SP in this game, but yeah, it's called SP in this game. So I'm just going to spam normal attacks and don't think the table attacks. After a Mabufu. Weak to Pierce attacks. And his normal attack missed because he's a dork. The fights will be a little bit faster paced as we get access to more skills, like this one. 
which allows us to finally use fire in our arsenal. So I have fire, wind, I, I don't have ice in my arsenal actually. I don't have, uh, don't have freezing shot yet. Got some blank cards for some reason. Okay. Wow, we actually took a lot of damage from the, the Mad Mabufu skills. That is a little bit expensive at this point in the game, but it's better than nothing. It's, it, 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 like, we barely even started and we basically already used up over SP for healing. It's, I'm actually not that opposed to it. There's some things with slash weaknesses that will allow us to get some free healing later on. I probably should have actually just saved it for that. Or maybe we, I should have started using the medicus that the game gave me. Oh yeah, and by the way, when you're holding onto an object, it tells you what it is. I don't know why it does that, but it does. You can also change the type of doors by tapping on the door icon itself, what color the doors are, all sorts of nifty stuff. You can change it. And there's even with chests, you get item points, whatever the square is, and this. It's nice. I actually forgot what the square is. I think I'll remember it eventually, but for now we'll just know that there's a square here. There's a circle over here along with a variety of other shapes, including the classic FOE symbol. The game does not recommend doors, I mean walls in front of doors, which is nice. There's a shortcut. The game's about to go ahead and yell at us about it. Oh, you don't say. And it's going really fast. Nah, it must be more important than that. can't wait until we run into one ways though. Anyways, we did run into that from this side. Isn't there a special- oh, right, this. Derp. Figured it out, guys. I knew I remembered what that was for. Well, yeah, that was the plan. I don't like that this is a shared space, though. Life belts are nice. So you can put that on anybody, but a front row character probably wants it. You know, like this guy, he can't take that many hits, so 20 more HP is probably going to save his butt sometime. I'm so used to... I'm so used to X zooming in the map. That that's going to be something I'm going to have to get used to. It's Y in this game. They mix up the X and Y buttons. How dare they. I wonder if there's an option about that. I can find out later. Oh, you get the map's progress in the upper right, too. That's pretty neat. This isn't the card. What do we got here? We got weak to lightning, weak to lightning, and weak to lightning. Everything's weak to lightning. Alright. Alright. Do that. I'm gonna have these guys smash up at the front row. Send that over there. Worry about the tongue guy in the back later. That's one down. Bane Slice should finish off the other one with no issue. I'm pretty sure Zen goes next. Yep. Zen has, like, gets critical hits, like, all the time. Almost silly. Sure, why not? That was an all-out attack? Oh, I guess it was just him. Uh, it should be noted that all-out attacks cancel charge effects, I'm pretty sure, so you have to be careful about that. These guys are gonna go first, so we're just going to go ahead and unleash the pain, and we should be okay. I can only use Zio one more time. We've actually already expended a lot of so SP. Well. This is just something we're gonna have to get over. I understand this. I put you there in that state. She's gonna distract us for the clock again. Alright, he ends up on the other side. No, you're not. We can still hear you. And they taught you about shortcuts. Yep, that was easy. No, it has to be... It, it makes it allows you to, you know, 
Now that was gonna explain it pretty okay. It's going to be useful. Yes, we'll, we have access to that. Oh, it even tells me what it is. I can automatically adapt and indicate which way you can pass through it. Which is what's neat about that icon. Oh, you're giving me more map instructions. Ugh, get out of here. Alright, let's just move forward. Okay, so we just learned about shortcuts. Now they can also be accessed from one side. I'm pretty sure this isn't one of those. But there's some shortcuts you can access immediately. So that if, if you see a shortcut, you have to kind of want to go check on it. I think you can even look at the shortcut from a, from afar. And if you can see the shortcut from afar, you can mark it from afar. And it'll tell you whether it's worth approaching or not. Oh, hey, look, it's that FOE thing. Zephoe. Son of... of yeah, it's one of those sons of bitches. Uh, no, Chie. The idea was to go around them. Yeah, most Zephoe's are docile. And somehow the characters stand perfectly still in place. I'm pretty sure you can't stand still when Echinasi games are in this game, for that matter. Only some of them. That was the idea. You might as well be. That was the plan. I already know about this because I come from Etronasi land. Proximity gauge shows likelihood of a Oh, you're telling me about the encounter rate? I love encounter rate. So, this little green circle around here is the encounter rate marker. It tells you when you're about to run into fights. It's nice. Let me test that thing. Okay, yeah. Don't need to approach it if you don't want to. Alright, so FOE's just kind of sitting around, blocking the way. Being obnoxious, we've actually been here for 20 minutes already. Probably because I've been spending so much time explaining stuff. I'm pressing the wrong buttons because I'm not used to the map icon. Pressing of the Y button. Not, not, not exactly what I'm used to. I'm going to snap one of fish through the options eventually. I don't think I'll get that far in this episode. This is mostly just kind of an introduction to mapping anyway. For the people who are not used to it or are new to it. But I do this, like, all the time, so it's almost guaranteed to know what it's like. This is also one way. Go down this way. This map actually isn't that big. Believe it or not, 36% already done. That means that we basically already hit the northern bound and the south-southern bound. So everything that's left is within the other two bounds. There's a special treasure chest over there that we're gonna get to later. Alright, let's just trigger this. I know this. You think I don't know this? Lady, I know this. Oh, you're gonna talk about the- Oh, you found the stairs! Good job, champ. Yep. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem. Oh yeah, there's a fixed fight. Okay, so this game actually kind of likes the fixed fights, doesn't it? Huh? No one said I was... Yeah, I'm a pretty brave person. I'll just enter in through. It's a good question, Yukiko. I never considered that. I don't think any of these things are actually weak to wind. Actually, isn't this thing weak to lightning? If only there's a way to make you go fast. It's also probably not worth sacrificing HP for. Weak to pierce back here? Yeah. 
just spam normal attacks on the guy in front. Then we'll deal with the tables. These guys do not do a lot of physical damage. It's only when they start using spells that they actually are threatening. Main slice is just a strong attack. I have everyone else getting up on the table on the left. There's a chance that this also puts the one on the right to sleep. Which it did. Hallelujah. Bathing table decided to pass its turn again. I don't know why they like passing their turns. It's just like, hey man, have free turns. And I'm like, okay. I'd love to stay SP conservative. I thought it was asleep. I don't know why I thought that was sleeping. No, that's terrification. Oops. There are two enemies left. My bad. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to use some of our medicas, but that's okay. Got to level 2 pretty easy. About to spend 30 minutes, I need to find a stopping point anyway. I'm gonna be able to pass through here faster as we go on. Got some more blink cards. This is... Player, are you getting tired? Are you okay? We're fine. How many do I have left? Two? That's fine. We got this. Let's just keep going. This way doesn't lead anywhere. Oh yeah, that's right. There's these things called events. Now that I think about it... Yes, I have. I've been on top of it. Look at this stuff. Huh. <laughs> well, he probably would just doodle on it. No, Alright, so far so straightforward. Use, make use of all of our tools. And just press forward. Oh wait, was there an event here? I, pff, bad time to not be paying attention. Doesn't look like it was too bad either way. You're always hungry. <sighs> um, as long as I have medicine, I should be. Oh, it, yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, so far so simple. Is it telling me to do something after I'm sitting still? Okay, it lets me... No. No, this is just reminder text. I thought, got thrown off by, thought, by thinking it actually meant something. This is a weird place to put a door. Over here. Oh, it leads to the, pa uh, the first power spot. Cool. So this is basically an item point in Etronasi terms. But in this game, they're going to call them power spots for reasons unbeknownst to anyone. Probably because these guys aren't adept at chopping, mining, and or taking. Yep. Well, thanks game for basically bashing it in my head about three times. I'll be sure to check it out. There's an icon for it in here. Here it is. That's all I need. Same cake page. Okay. Oh yeah, basically free money. The game will tell you when it's dangerous to pick stuff up, so I wouldn't really worry about it. Just try to pick things up, and if the fight is threatening you, check your condition, blah blah blah, be smart. It's nice. Door down here. Did I miss a thing over here on the right? I didn't go down there. This might be the way of progress. Let me quickly check over here to make sure that this isn't like a dead end of some sort. It is. Um, uh, yeah, that's, that's the plan, Yosuke. Thanks. Once again. Get free chain mail. Sounds good to me. That should get them back on their feet, though. Table by itself. Skip. Your... <laughs> now that it's over, I'm 
Okay, so when sets start repeating themselves or becoming easy, I cut through them. Just how I always approach it. Something I'm very used to doing. Something that's always very handy to do. I've been here for more than 30 minutes. I didn't actually plan on staying this long, but the game's letting me survive this long. I may as well keep going. Fwees don't care about you, Yosuke. If you could yell and it wouldn't get their attention. Looks like he's just going pretty much counterclockwise around this little pond, we'll call it. I'm gonna mark the pond with walls. And just call it a day. Looks like I found the, the western bound of this map. Which means we're getting ever closer to the end. Got another power spot. Nothing else here, so let's just go around this huge body of water. Hello? I see what? you. Isn't there something strange about that wall? Careful. Really? Ah, go through. This is probably the last hard set we can do anyway. If the set even threatens to be hard. Which it isn't threatening to be hard. Alright, the set ended up not being too hard. It gave us some experience and a lot of stuff. The game's gonna be very generous at first, but just like Etronasi, the drop rate of items is going to drop eventually. It's actually not that bad in this game. The drop rate's really fair. Like, really fair. Okay. We'll, we'll do that later. Okay. I am careful. Has no faith in me, I swear. Got a flame shot. That's nice. We'll just go ahead and take care of that. Free 10 attack, I'll take it. Also has fire elements attached to it, which lets me test for fire weaknesses, even though we don't have access to fire right now. It is. I'm so glad you noticed. That's the last medicine, the last freebie medicine that we were given. We could buy more if we wanted to, but that's uh, not a top priority. Go ahead and get this checked out. Looks like I'm going to be able to complete this all in one run, which is great. Also makes the video a little long, but uh, between certain amounts of cutting, I'm pretty sure it's going to be okay. Oh, I could check it for some more stuff. Alright, thanks for free stuff game. Let's move on. Uh, second first name is the first, la la la, I love you. Now, most of the time enemies aren't going to be so susceptible to normal attacks. Normal attacks typically are very weak. Even Atronasi, they're typically very weak. After the first dungeon level or so, you basically go on to using skills only. This game doesn't get to the skills only point until a little later, but it's okay. Oh, that's the cue that, hey man, there's an event up there. Let's go check it out. I'm gonna ground at the end of the passage. Doesn't seem suspicious. Yeah. Fox is corn dog is back, and now there's two of them. Yes, quite skilled. You try putting something else in the box, see what happens to it. Okay, so this is an one-time item dupe in it. I don't have a medicine to put in it, so uh, it's gonna tell me I don't have any. I guess it would be too OP if you could item dupe anything, but, you know, it's nice here. So there's a medicine dupe here. And we can come back for it if we want to, but oh well. If I'd remembered it was there, I would have held on to the medicine I had. That's all okay. Let's just get these shortcuts triggered. Go down some stairs. Get things to happen. I'll be okay with the world. There's a treasure box. I wonder what we'll find inside. 
Solid looking treasure box. Box should be you see relief. Suddenly the map's relief starts to glow and strange patterns show up. Once you've explored 100% of the floor. Okay, so it wants me to walk on all the spaces, I'm pretty sure. Don't remember the game quite being that fickle, but it might be. Now, if I start mapping with paint, does it count? No. So that's the tricky part. If you start using paint to cover stuff, it doesn't count towards your exploration meter. And that's just weird. Let's reset the encounter. Okay, I guess we're gonna run into a fight before we get anything. I probably should have went to the shortcut through the right. We're gonna be fine. Then we reach level 3. And we get recovery, which recovers status ailments. We get much more stuff, as usual. Let's just go down some stairs real quick. Now we're going to get some commentary about how the next floor looks so weird. Yep. Glad to hear it. Why are you blushing? I don't see why not. But now you have Zen and all of us. But I'm okay now. I never laugh at you for that. If you're scared, you don't have to push yourself too hard. Okay. It's been just me and Zen for so long. But now that you I'm gonna start cutting them off at pressing A after I'm done reading it. Yes. Ignored. But it's so easy! Oh, yes. In the power of the heart. You can face off with shadows even without a persona. It seems very odd to me. Is it really odd though, Nalto, is it? I guess they're like me. I used to live in a place with shadows, and I didn't have a persona either. Huh, you're right. But you didn't actually fight them until you could summon one. Hmm, that's true too. I thought it might have been possible because of this strange play. There's something else with Because reasons. We were in the TV world. He would frequently adopt all sorts of personas, no? Doubt that. But is this the first time you're seeing this too? No. Nope. This does concern me. Probably because they hand out all these link cards to you guys and you guys can have one. That puts us at a severe disadvantage in battle. I think we should bring this up at the vote. Yeah, we can do that now because it's well. basically out of fuel anyway. That took its time. Alright. Oops. There we go. Let's get back up. Alright, so off screen I'm going to get this to 100%. So, I'll pretty much show you that guy's content, the, the thing's contents eventually. I don't think it's safe for me to really actually try to walk out of here. I'm just going to go ahead and use the go home. Need, okay, it reminds us that... Ah, oh, does that automatically? Game, why won't you let me save first? <sighs> hey everyone, this has been Life, guys. Always, and thank you for watching. We'll cover this next time.